KVD chief. On July 10, 1934, two months after Minsky's death, Joseph Stalin appointed Yogoda People's Commissar of Internal Affairs, a position that included the oversight of both the regular and the secret police, the NKVD. Yogoda worked closely with Andrei Vichinsky in organizing the first Moscow show trial which resulted in the prosecution and subsequent execution of former Soviet politicians Grigory Zinvalf and Lev Kamenov in August 1936 as part of Stalin's Great Purge. The Red Army High Command was not spared and its ranks were thinned by Yagoda as a precursor to the later and more extensive purge in the Russian military. More than a quarter of a million people were arrested during the 1934-1935 period. The Gulag system was vastly expanded under his stewardship and penal labor became a major development resource in the Soviet economy. Stalin became increasingly delusioned with Yagoda's performance. In the middle of 1936, Stalin received a report from Yagoda detailing the unfavorable public reaction abroad to the show trials and the growing sympathy among the Soviet population for the executed defendants. The report enraged Stalin interpreting it as Yagoda's advice to stop the show trials and in particular to abandon the planned purge of Mikhail Chovachinsky, Marshal of the Soviet Union and the former Commander-in-Chief of the Red Army. Stalin was already unhappy with Yagoda's services, mostly due to the mismanagement of, of Kirov's assassination and his failure to fabricate proofs of ties between Kemenov and Zinoviev and the Okhrana. As one Soviet official put it, the boss forgets nothing. On September 25, 1936, Stalin sent a telegram to the members of the Politburo. The telegram read, We consider it absolutely necessary and urgent that Comrade Yazov be appointed to the head of People's Commissariat of Internal Affairs. Yagoda has obviously proved unequal to the task of exposing the Trotsky Sinovich bloc. The GPU is four years late in this matter. All party heads and the most of the NKVD agents in the region are talking this. End quote. A day later, he was replaced by Yezov, who managed the main purges during 1937-1938. Yagoda was demoted to the post of People's Commissar for Post and Telegraph. The Arrest, Trial, and Execution of Yagoda In March 1937, Yagoda was arrested on Stalin's orders. Yezov announced Yagoda's arrest for diamond smuggling corruption and working as a German agent since joining the party in 1917. Yezov even blamed Yagoda of an attempt to assassinate him by sprinkling mercury around his office. He was accused of poisoning Maxim Gorky and his son. It was discovered that Yagoda's two Moscow apartments and his DACA contained 3,904 pornographic photos, 11 pornographic films, 165 pornographically carved pipes, one dildo, and the two bullets that killed Zinovov and Kamenev. Yezov took over the apartments. He had spent 4 million rubles decorating his three homes, boasting that his garden had 2,000 orchids and roses. Yagoda was found guilty of treason and conspiracy against the Soviet government at the trial of the 21 in March 1938. He denied he was a spy, but admitted most other charges. Solzhen described Yagoda as expecting clemency from Stalin after the show trial. Just as though Stalin had been sitting right there in the hall, Yagoda confidently and insistently begged him directly for mercy. I appeal you, for you I built two great canals, and a witness reports that at just that moment a match flared in the shadows behind a window on the second floor of the hall, apparently behind a muslin curtain, and while it lasted, the outline of a pipe could be seen. Yagoda was summar summarily shot soon after the trial. His wife, Ida Everbach, was executed in 1938. His sister, Lilia, was arrested on May 7, 1937, and shot on July 16. His brother-in-law, Leopold Everbach, was shot in August. In 1988, on the 50th anniversary of the trial, the Soviet authorities 
belatedly cleared all of the other 20 defendants of any criminal offense, admitting that the entire trial was built on false confessions. Yagoda was the only defendant not to be posthumously rehabilitated.